first impressions of the win tonight? Yeah, I think it's just Paul's elite, Dylan's elite, and so um, that's a separator when you have two great players like that. And um, pleased with the guys that came in out of the bullpen for the most part. That was really good to see. Um, those guys are all have really good futures here. When I say futures, I mean the rest of this year, and then obviously the next couple. Um, good to get a lot of guys in the game. Um, you know, we got more guys that should play and, and that will play, you know, down the line this year and in the future. So uh, it was a good night for all that. Kind of a slow start offensively at the plate. Their starter had an eight strikeout, but it seemed kind of like through the third time through the order is when it really started to crack. What kind of adjustments were made? Yeah, I, I don't think we did a great job, honestly, early on. Um, I think we can do better. I think we will do better. Uh, but, hey, man, it's 12 runs in a college baseball game. And, um, you know, we're not going to get – negative about not scoring 20 every game. I'm just, I'm not going to do that. With that being said, there's areas that we'll need to be better in and that we'll work to be better in. Um, Should have done better and we will, uh, we'll keep working on that. But hitting's hard and um, credit their guy. Did a nice job tonight. Some like, obviously you told us that Gavin Guidry had been working at pitching a couple weeks ago and we got to see him on the mound tonight. Just what did you think of his outing, and how long has he been working at Pitcher? I thought it was spectacular. Um, can't do much better, honestly. If we'd have caught the strike three, um, I think he would have been, you know, an inning and third, four Ks, and um, that would have ended that deal um, with no runs and no hits. So can't pitch any better than he did. I think that um, he's been going at it for about a month, and um, we'll continue to go at it. I think we were – careful in the buildup, you know, um, he and I had a phone conversation during Christmas break about um, building back to this and um, and then we just wanted to do it smart and um, excited about what he can provide. I think he's a different look for this pitching staff, which is a great pitching staff without him, but I think it's something different that I think we're going to need going, going forward. Yeah, why add him to the mix? Like what kind of went into that decision? I think his uh, competitive mindset, I think if you just looked at his poise and his demeanor on the mound is what you, what you need. Um, and I think the stuff is what you need. And I think it's also different than what some of the other guys provide. Um, without elaborating on that a whole lot more, I'm just excited and I think he can add a lot. I know he struggled with command, but what were your thoughts about Aiden Moffitt? He's, a, he's got a chance to be a major league pitcher someday, and he's going to be a great pitcher here. Um, you know, the stuff's amazing. Um, need strikes for it to be usable skill in the game, and we'll, we'll get him there. And um, really excited about Aiden. With, with Gavin, was making him a two-way player, was that part of the pitch at all when you were trying to recruit him? Or? You know, um, it actually um, – it was the other way around. He didn't want us to just make him a pitcher. You know what I mean? And, and so, um, which I respect. And he's going to be a very good position player here uh, as well, I think. Jordan's, nobody's playing better than Jordan right now in all of college baseball, period. And so that's that. And then, you know, Dugas is like five for four, it seems like, every game at the plate. So, um, you know, the, he, he knows. I mean, he, he knows that's what he knew coming in here that it was going to be hard to get on the field, you know, maybe at the rate that he wants to. But his attitude has been phenomenal and um, he's improved defensively. And um, we'd be fine if he was playing short or second every day. We would, this team would still be winning. It's just, you know, we're, we're in a good spot right now. So, um, but we want to develop him as a position player too. I think, um, you know, it's tricky with the two-way thing, just with the arm usage. We want to keep him healthy. Um, but my promise to him was we were going to develop him as a position player first because that's what he wanted to do. And then, um, you know, we kind of talked about this pitching thing uh, over break and just wanted to build him up right, and he can definitely help this team, this team right now as a pitcher, and I'm excited about that. Uh, Tommy had his first multiple hit game today. Um, what did you think of his performance and how he's progressing through injury right now? Yeah, I think the at-bats continually are getting better. Um, I mean, he has a walk and a double in each of the last three games, and I want to lead the comf- country in walks and doubles. Mm-hmm. And um, so I think the approach is getting better. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, he missed 
four games where maybe some other guys in the lineup got 16 to 20 at bats. And so there's some reps, there's some getting back to health. There's some just settling down a little bit, you know, and, and I mean that, that like all of our players at times need to settle down. There's about six of them tonight that needed to settle down a little bit. So uh, we're moving in a good direction there. I'm super, super excited about it. He has a great dynamic to this lineup. He can hit high level pitching. Um, and I think he's, he's going to start to get in his stride as he has the last couple games. Alex Malazzo with the bunt squeeze tonight, and just how have you seen him progress at the plate? Yeah, in? Alex doing great. I think first and foremost, he's been a great teammate. Um, he's accepted his role, and not accepted it, he's embraced his role, and he's played in every game. I mean, I, there's not a lot of them, I think, that have played in every game. Um, thought it was a good chance to uh, start Alex tonight. I think he deserves it, and um, I think just told the team, like, there's so many of them that are interchangeable. Like, if you put one guy in, took one guy out, it, it wouldn't change it. It's just like, we got to do what's best to build the team to accomplish the goals that we want to. And I'm sure glad he's here. Um, you know, like Gidry, another guy, if we put Alex on the mound, we might find a, a closer we didn't know that we had. I mean, that's, that's the arm talent he has. Um, don't get any ideas over there, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but he's a great leader. Um, leader of the other catchers, he's a great leader of the pitching staff, and he's a functional offensive player as he showed tonight. So um, excited about what he's doing. So you're working Braden Joe Bear at third base. Is that something just to have as like insurance, or? You know, I think when you have talent, um, you don't want to take anything off the table. I mean, Dugas had an eye thing for the entire fall. Uh, Thompson had a hamstring thing. Like we barely had enough infielders to play scrimmage games and so we, he, this isn't new like he did it a lot in the fall actually I think he did it a little bit in junior college um, he's got a great throwing arm uh, gonna be a pro player and you know I mean if that's something that he can also do it increases his value and it allows us to you know give a little bit different look um, obviously we weren't counting on Tommy's injury per se and then Ben's done a spectacular job, made another nice play tonight. Uh, got on base a couple times and started that rally that opened up the game. Um, so we haven't really had to do it out of necessity. Tonight, we knew we wanted to bring Gavin in. I'd already subbed Gavin Dugas out. So um, it was a little bit of, hey, I want to see what this looks like, and a little bit of, like, there was, no <laughs> there was nobody else to put in the game. So. <laughs> Trey made that really nice catch on left early on. Yeah. Is him in the outfield going to be more common, especially with guys like Jared Jones? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's like you want to get Jared Jones at bats. You know, you want to make sure Trey's in there. You want to make sure Tommy's in there. I want, I want Cade Beloso to get more at bats. Like, I mean, I want Ethan Fry. I mean, I, that guy's going to be an All-American here. Like, it's uh, I'm just doing the best I can, <laughs> honestly, with, <laughs> with all of that right now. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, like, it's literally like, what do we need to do to win the game today? And the good part is there's more than one answer. And, you know, we've had some injury adversity. Trey, been a little banged up. Tommy's banged up. And it's like, you wouldn't even know it, you know. I mean, we're sitting here talking about a slow start offensively in a game. We scored 12 runs. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. It's just like, yeah. I mean, what is the, what is the, what's the bar? You know what I mean? So, um so yeah, he's, he has a great play, it's athleticism. And you know, we've really, a concept I tried to bring when we got here was like, be a ball player, you know what I mean? And that means what can I do to help my team win? I was listening to John Calipari talk about this the other night. It's like, you know, when he puts guys in position for their strengths to help the team win, like that's what they're supposed to do. And sometimes they may look at it as like, wait, I want this bigger role, but he's like, wait a minute, I'm setting you up for success and you're helping the team. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. And we got guys doing that everywhere on this team, on the mound, in the field, and in the box. And so it's, it's really good. It's exciting.